Greetings everyone. Welcome back to Moon Hill Vintage Homestead. It's your old crone Yaya and it has been over a year since I posted a video but I am feeling really good. I have had some health problems in the past year but I am feeling wonderful and I am so glad, so thankful to be back and I hope you enjoy this haul that I've gotten from estate sales, yard sales, and flea markets. So please enjoy. Okay, first up for $1, I got a set of three of these bamboo trays. They measure 18 inches by 14 by one, and they're very uh, stiff and sturdy, well-built, made to last. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell these or keep these. I will probably sell these. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna put them online. Okay, next at uh, one of the yard sales, the couple was yelling at everyone, come buy our stuff, it's only a dollar each. So of course I had to run over there and see what they had. And one thing was this box. It opens up, obviously someone tried to paint it, but it is so heavy, it weighs at least 10 pounds really nice. I mean, who could pass that up for a dollar? So I think I'm going to try to revamp it myself. Maybe put some IOD transfers on it or something. But yeah, for a dollar, of course. Okay, next they had another box for a dollar. This one will be easier to put the transfers on, but I just love that shape. Really nice. <clears throat> nice made. Now I can imagine they were pretty pricey when they were brand new. Okay, they had a few stands for a dollar each. That one was really pretty. And I got all of these that they had. There was uh, five of them, and I gave three of them to one of my daughters. You know, whether it holds a picture or a collector plate, anything like that there brass, really nice. So again, for a dollar each, great buy. Okay, so at the same yard sale, they had this whole bucket of candles and they wanted a dollar per pack. And then I said, well, how much do you want for the whole thing? And they were like, eh, $2. So <laughs> I got a great deal. Let me show you some of these. I'm sure they were probably for some kind of event, but there were three boxes of these Caspari guessing that's how you pronounce that. Candles, and they are, they're beautiful. 10 inch. And the original price tag was $9.75 per box. So just those alone were a great deal. And then there were several of these type where it's battery operated and they light up, has the look of real flame, wax covered LED tapers. Um, and the original price on that, $44. I don't know where in the world they would pay $44 for these, these candles like this. And then they also had these um, gorgeous, never been used, diamond black taper, 12 inches. These were $32. For just the two, the two pack. I'm like, wow. Let's take one out. And they, they are really pretty. But I personally probably will never burn them, so I will definitely put these online. They're just beautiful. So for two dollars I got, I don't know, well over a hundred dollars worth of candles. Can't beat that. Okay, and finally from that same $1 yard sale, I bought this ceramic, no, it's not ceramic, it's, it's clay, it's terracotta, I would say, but it was, it's a mushroom. Uh, 12 inches tall, got some great earth tone colors to it. And since I collect mushroom things, I will be keeping this for myself. Okay, at the flea market, I found this vintage anchor hawking 
It's called Milano Aqua. Um, it's been described as either bubble or bark texture. Really, really cute picture. I think I paid six or seven dollars for this. And then I was at the thrift store the very next day and found one exactly like this, but in amber color. And it was only like four dollars, but I didn't pick it up because the amber color. I think it had a chip on it too. So again, I'm crazy about pictures. I don't know if I'll be keeping this or selling it. I think there's quite a few um, online for sale, but not necessarily in this color. So we'll see. Okay, next up from the same lady I bought the picture from, she had this vase and I knew there was something special about it. It's really, really heavy and beautiful. On the bottom, it reads Orbix. So I had to look it up and I did look it up right there in front of her too because she had no idea what it was. It turns out Orbix is a, um, they call it Orbix Hot Glass and it's a company from, I believe, Alabama. So when you go to their website, this is called an Arbor Vase in the color Aqua and it sells brand new for $280 and I paid $7. So yes, another awesome find. I found this vintage nursery set at an estate sale that I saw on Facebook Marketplace. They had a picture of this and some other things I got. So when we got to the estate sale, I was really surprised that everyone was gathered in the garage going through the jewelry. So I went inside the house and I found everything still for sale that I saw online. And of course I snatched it up. And one of the things were this uh, nursery set, Little Bo Peep. Um, it comes with, let me take it out of the box so you can see it better. And this, the set was $6. Oh, still got the tag on there. But isn't she adorable? And it reads Mother Goose Pinups, number 229, Little Bo Peep on the back. Excellent vintage condition. And two. That lamb is crying, two little lambs, and a tiny little butterfly. Okay, so when I look these up on eBay, there's several sets of them. Not many have the butterfly. So because there is so many and they don't seem to be selling right now, I will probably keep this for a while. But it's so beautiful. All right, the same estate sale had these wonderful plush of Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, Scarecrow, Tin Man, and Cowardly Lion, the set of four. And I believe I paid about $20 for the set. And I will be putting these online and I will be asking probably around $200 for the entire set plus shipping um, because I've seen individual pieces of these sell for 50 to 75 and they are in excellent condition. Uh, nobody had the full set of four listed. They are about 18 inches tall each. I love the crow on his shoulder there. Tin Man is just adorable the way they made him. And I, um, Dorothy was probably the rarest. I don't know if people like see this by itself and not realize that it's actually Dorothy from Wizard of Oz or so they just buy it by itself? I'm, I'm just not sure. Either way, it's really cute. It'd be a great collector set. Also from the same estate sale, this little handmade doll. She's so primitive, so country looking. Her little apron, her pantaloons. Just adorable. I'll probably be keeping her. And then also, the lady had these two things sitting on the couch. 
when they weren't in the photos that were posted. But oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Just adorable. So the lady said that her grandmother made these. So um, I'm guessing because the lady was older than me and it was made by her grandmother. I'm guessing this was probably World War I or World War II era that these were made. And they, um, I believe she said they were German. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna sell or keep these as well. But as always, if, if anyone sees something they're interested in, please just contact me. Okay, and finally from the same estate sale, for 50 cents, there was a pack of seven coasters. And I have learned from the auction professor to not pass little things like this up. They are German coasters. And I looked up a few of these and I'm fairly confident that I can get $5 a piece for them. So for 50 cent investment, you know, why not? One Saturday, my oldest daughter and I were out yard selling and we kind of got, I wouldn't say lost, but we ended up in a little town that we had never shopped at before. Actually, ever even probably been to, been through, but not to it. So we wanted to explore, see if there was any thrift shops around. And there was this one little consignment shop. And I found the good old fashioned hot rollers. Flare All Kindness Instant Hair Setter. These were $5. And I, let, I asked the lady if I could plug them in and make sure that they worked. And they do. Got the, all the rollers and the hair pins. And anyone who grew up in the 80s, probably before, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know the torture of the hot roller set. So I will definitely be putting these for sale. Hey folks, so sorry about that abrupt ending to the video. Apparently, I lost about 15 minutes worth of footage. Uh, I got a new iPhone and I'm still learning how to use it actually. So that's all for today. And as usual, we always wish you good health, well-being, and financial freedom from Moon Hill Homestead.